the grand epic of the cosmic boundary, what lies beyond the edge of perception? From the earliest flickers of human consciousness, we have gazed into the night sky, consumed by the same fundamental questions about the origin and limits of the vast cosmos, does the universe truly have a boundary? And if so, what could possibly exist beyond that ultimate frontier? These are not merely inquiries for physics or astronomy, they are the resounding declaration of limitless human curiosity the very fire that drove humanity to cross oceans, conquer mountains, and now, to decode the deepest secrets of existence. It is this fire that transformed our tiny dust particle of a planet, Earth, into a cradle for intelligent beings capable of unraveling the universe's profound mysteries. The Portrait of the Observable Universe In the modern scientific age, we have a concrete answer for the part of the universe we can see. This is the observable universe, calculated to span a staggering really diameter of about 93 billion light years. This colossal number is not an arbitrary guess, it is a meticulous calculation based on the most point? solid evidence the cosmos know, has delivered everywhere. over billions of years. The scientific bedrock for the 93 billion light year figure is the analysis of the cosmic microwave background, CMB. If the Big Bang was a cataclysmic explosion, the CMB is the final echo remaining the residual radiation from the nascent universe, roughly 380,000 years old, when it had finally cooled enough for light to escape. This accidental discovery in 1964 by engineers Arno Penchers and Robert Wilson provided a direct snapshot of the early cosmos. By combining CMB data with sophisticated mathematical models describing the expansion of space over time, derived from Einstein's These general relativity, scientists can precisely so calculate mystery. the actual physical distance of the regions that emitted that ancient light. The essential truth is that the boundary of the observable universe is not a spatial wall, but a limit of time and light. Since our universe is approximately 13.8 billion years old, when we look at the farthest galaxies, the light from them has taken 13.8 billion years to reach us. In other words, the 93 billion light-year boundary is the historical portrait of the universe in its infancy, preserved by light and sent to us across a journey nearly as long as the universe itself. When you observe an object 10 billion light-years away, you are seeing it as it was 10 billion years ago, when the universe was much younger. Due to ongoing expansion, the actual distance to that galaxy today is significantly greater than 10 billion light-years. The imprint of a genius, Edwin Hubble and cosmic expansion. In this quest for the boundary, one name remains indelible, Edwin Hubble, 1889-1953. Before the 1920s, the scientific community largely believed the Milky Way was the entire universe. But from the Mount Wilson Observatory, Hubble not only proved the existence of countless other galaxies outside our own but also made an earth-shattering discovery, the redshift in their light spectra. This phenomenon, similar to the Doppler effect causing an ambulance siren to drop in pitch as it moves away, showed that light from distant galaxies was being stretched towards the red end of the spectrum as they receded from Earth. Hubble's meticulous observations led to Hubble's law, which provided irrefutable proof that the universe is expanding. This revelation instantly became the foundation for the Big Bang Theory, a cornerstone of modern cosmology. In his honor, the Hubble Space Telescope, HST, was launched in 1990, becoming humanity's finest eye in space. From the Hubble Deep Field, which revealed thousands of galaxies in a seemingly empty patch of sky, to confirming the accelerating expansion of the universe, a discovery necessitating the concept of dark energy, the telescope expanded our known limits, yet the overarching question remains, where will this expansion ultimately lead? The harsh reality recognized by Hubble and subsequent scientists is that the universe is not only constantly expanding, but the rate of expansion is accelerating. This means most galaxies are receding from us at incredibly high speeds. There exists a cosmological horizon beyond which galaxies are moving away faster than the speed of light itself. No matter how far the light from them travels, the space between us and that galaxy expands faster than light can cross it. This creates a permanent boundary, we will never be able to see the galaxies past this limit and their light will never reach Earth. It is a stark physical constraint that reminds us of our own small scale against the immensity of the cosmos. Beyond the frontier, the dream of a Type 3 civilization. If the observable universe is a limit of light and speed, then the hope of crossing it rests upon human development. 
futurists often invoke the Kardashev scale, proposed by Soviet astrophysicist Nikolai Kardashev in 1964, which classifies civilizations based on their energy consumption. The scale predicts that the descendants of humanity could reach type 3 status in about a million years a civilization capable of harnessing the entire energy output of its host galaxy. At this level of mastery, they would control the ultimate secrets of space-time, including the ability to travel between extremely distant regions of space, or potentially, other universes. The key technological breakthrough would be wormhole technology, einstein rosen bridges. Based on general relativity, wormholes are shortcuts through space-time, connecting two distant points with a physically short path. Once humanity masters the exotic physics needed to stabilize a traversable wormhole, perhaps involving negative mass energy, we would no longer be bound by the speed of light. Instead of taking light years, a Type 3 civilization could traverse distances of hundreds of millions of light years, reaching the farthest boundary of the observable universe in the blink of an eye. This is a leap that conquers both time and space. Reaching that boundary predicted by Hubble would reveal not a brick wall, but the primordial darkness where galaxies have receded too quickly for their light to ever arrive. Beyond the door, the hypothesis of infinity. Assuming we could traverse the observable boundary, what would we find? Scientists propose two primary, or inspiring scenarios. Scenario 1, the universe is infinite and homogeneous. The most widely accepted hypothesis is that outside the 93 billion light-year boundary, space continues to be filled with countless galaxies, stars, nebulae, and black holes, making up a universe with a familiar appearance to us. Due to the principle of homogeneity, the cosmic landscape would be fundamentally similar no matter how far we traveled. Galaxies would form and evolve, stars would be born and perish, and black holes would devour matter all fundamental processes occurring everywhere, governed by a strikingly consistent set of laws and structures across an almost limitless space. In this context, our observable universe is merely a tiny, spherical island in the infinite cosmic ocean. Scenario 2, the multiverse where physics changes. This is the most audacious hypothesis. At the far edge of the known universe, or perhaps far beyond it, there may lie a boundary that is not space, but a cosmic wall the final limit of spatial expansion and the boundary of our current understanding. If we could pierce this wall, a completely new vista would open up, the multiverse. The multiverse is the existence of countless independent universes, each one a glittering pearl in an infinite expanse, perhaps a bubble space. The crucial point here is that each universe could be governed by entirely different laws of physics. In another universe, gravity might be weaker, the speed of light might be different, or fundamental constants, like the fine structure constant, could be altered, leading to forms of matter, galaxies, and life that current human imagination cannot even grasp. The concept of parallel universes further fuels the wonder, perhaps, somewhere out there, there exists a person identical to you, living a near-identical life, facing similar choices and struggles, yet having made one different decision that created a separate branch of reality. Conclusion, the endless journey of intellect. In the light of these grand discoveries and daunting hypotheses, we realize that humanity's exploration of the cosmos is not merely a hunt for the unknown, but a profound quest for the meaning of existence itself. Every time we gaze deep into the boundless space, it is both a test of our intellect and a moment of touching the deepest chords of emotion or before the sublime, and humility before the infinite. Whether the realm beyond the observable boundary is a homogeneous infinity or a tapestry woven from countless multiverse, the flame of curiosity in the human soul will never be extinguished. We will continue this unending voyage of knowledge and aspiration. Because the conviction drives humanity forward, that one day, however distant, human ingenuity will finally peel back the veil of secrecy and reveal the full answers to the universe's ultimate riddles.